Hello everyone, Adam here, and today I will be talking about the hiss from Remedy Entertainment's latest game, Control. I'll be discussing this interdimensional force and how it almost took over the oldest house and nearly destroyed the world. But before we begin, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment as it does help me out a lot. So let's get on to the video. The Hiss is an interdimensional resonance, meaning they are a frequency originating from a source that came to our world through the slide projector, which is an object of power capable of opening doors to other dimensions. During the ordinary altered world event, the town was consumed by an interdimensional figure called the Not Mother that took control of the children. The interdimensional being found its way into Ordinary after Jesse and her brother Dylan found the slide projector in the town's dump and showed it to some of the kids. A bunch of bullies were contacted by the Knock Mother after turning it on and converted into servants who targeted the adults of the town. Jesse and her brother Dylan were able to stop the Knock Mother with the help of another resident named Polaris who gave the siblings the ability to turn off the projector. They then burned all the slides except the ones leading to Polaris. The projector along with Dylan and the burned slides were seized by the Federal Bureau of Control with Jessie escaping and dedicating her life to finding her brother. Expeditions were made using the slide projector with one leading to Zachary Trench who was the director of the Federal Bureau of Control becoming influenced by the hiss. After Casper Darren, head of research for the Federal Bureau of Control, returned from Polaris' dimension through the Slipscape 36 slide with Hendren, an amplifier of Polaris, and began producing HRAs, also known as Hendren Resonance Amplifiers to shield against hostile resonance. Trent unleashed the hiss on the Bureau out of fear of losing the Bureau to Hendren, who he believed was a hostile threat. This allowed the hiss to infect most of the staff, taking control of many altered objects and objects of power, and almost taking over the entire oldest house. With the game focusing on Jesse stopping the hiss from ever leaving the oldest house and infecting the world. Those contaminated with the hiss will float in the air and repeat the same hiss incantation, a mysterious chant with no exact meaning. Anyone hearing the chant will instantly become infected unless wearing an HRA. Those contaminated will remain floating attempting to affect any non-hiss, but it's not clear if the hiss can influence anyone else but humans. We know that the Molded, another alien dimensional creature, acts independently from the hiss despite being within close proximity of the hiss infected. There are two possibilities to this. That the humans turned into molded still have active HRAs preventing the hiss from infecting them or that the hiss were unable to infect the molded. Another option is that the molded could be naturally immune to the hiss's incantation. Jessie can dominate the minds of molded and hiss using her own resonance so it's likely that the molded despite hearing the hiss's incantation simply are unable to be infected by their type of resonance. Despite the Hiss taking complete control of an individual and removing their individuality, Dylan Faden and Zachary Trench retained their identity despite being infected. With Dylan conveying the Hiss's words as pleasant and that they showed him the true nature of reality, Trench saw the Hiss as a necessary solution to combat Hendren. Both served the Hiss, but they still retained a small degree of who they once were. It's unclear how these particular people were chosen, but considering they were paramount to helping the Hiss's plan to invade Earth, it could mean that the Hiss only allow those who are most useful to maintain a certain level of individuality. Similar to how the Reapers from Mass Effect would alter the behavior of their victims using indoctrination to make their victims believe what they were doing was right and then turning those who were less viable into foot soldiers. Despite the foot soldiers' violent attacks, the Hiss are methodical in their approach, looking for any weaknesses and immediately exploiting them without mercy. The true motivation of the Hiss remains largely unclear. The Hiss are hostile to anything that is not a Hiss and corrupts anything it encounters, whether it's natural or paranormal. In fact, the Hiss will actively go after altered objects and objects of power, most likely to find other dimensions to further infect. If a person is capable of combat, the Hiss will actively control their body. 
the person becomes extremely violent, capable of using whatever weapons the person has knowledge of, with the soldier defaulting to their training. Those infected showcase physical deformation and can use paranatural abilities similar to Jesse, such as dashing, telekinesis, and levitation. Some are even capable of cloaking, something that Jesse cannot do. All of this depends on the genetic alterations, with those of higher combat skill gaining more powerful physical attributes, such as increased muscle, tolerance to damage, and more. We see this with Marshall, who is infected during the events of the Foundation, and is seen to be the most powerful version of the Hiss. Not only can Marshall command weaker Hiss, but use the Shatter ability, something that no other Hiss can do. Less powerful figures are often made into disposable, heavily altered kamikaze hiss or remain suspended to infect other humans. Once infected, there is no cure. The person becomes a hiss and the only option is to kill the individual to prevent the spread of the hiss. Only Polaris is capable of driving out the hiss contamination as seen when Jesse Faden is infected. When possessed, Polaris is only able to push out the Hiss's influence when amplified with Hendren. It's also here that we get a look at what it's like inside the mind of those possessed. With Jessie performing meaningless and tedious tasks as she's locked away in her own mind. It's safe to say that those possessed are also locked away in their own minds once the Hiss take control of their bodies, with the user unaware of their current state, which is horrifying. Can you imagine being a passenger in your own body unaware that someone else is controlling you and the second you die, everything just goes out? I mean, in The Last of Us, it was pretty screwed up that runners are still aware that they're infected but are losing control of their body slowly. Here it just happens in an instant and you are literally trapped within your own mind. The other option is complete prevention. Using HRAs, you can prevent the Hisses incantation from infecting a user. Unfortunately, if the HRA is damaged in any way, the individual will become infected with the Hiss's incantation and become one of them. We see this during the mission A Matter of Time, where one of the FBC soldiers was instantly turned into a Hiss after his HRA device was completely shut down. And because of this, the only surefire way to stop the Hiss from consuming all of Earth is to cut off the source and kill all those who have been infected. It is the only way to ensure that the Hiss never make it out of the oldest house and infect all of humanity. Similar to the flood in Halo, how one spore can destroy an entire civilization, one Hiss leaving the oldest house can destroy all of humanity. So everything has to be killed and everything has to be wiped out. It's unfortunate and extreme but it's the only way to ensure that the Hiss never ever infect the Earth. And that will be it for the Hiss. So if I left anything out, please let me know in the comments below. Also check out Control. It was one of my favorite games of 2019. Remedy really outdid themselves with this title. Yes, it had its issues, but the overall presentation and absolute thrill ride of battling these supernatural creatures, not just the Hiss, but the Molded and several other things were simply amazing. I absolutely loved this game and I really like Jessie Faden. She was one of my favorite characters to come out this generation, but of course that is a matter of taste. Anyway, Control is available for PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. The latest expansion, The Foundation, just came out on Xbox One. And we still have the Alan Wake DLC to look forward to. So anyway, uh, let me know what I should explain next in the comments below. And I'll see you all next time. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you all next time. Stay awesome, everyone.